Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and come so Roach play Stellaris. Say hello, Roach. Hello. So, uh, we, we are still on our Borg versus the Replicators. Well, I wouldn't say versus. I mean, we haven't found each other yet. We don't know. I don't know about him. They could be nice we, Replicators. And can we really call you the Replicator? I mean, can we really call you the Borg? <laughs> I'm, I'm Assimilators, so I'm going with it. I assimilate things. They're delicious. Well, I do. I need I need more biologicals, because I would love some more like thralls to work my the, my vast power fields. Need to strike out, find some primitives. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, but I haven't found anyone yet. Yeah. Oh, this is my second. Wait, which one? this is my? Th I was I was like, why is my third pro planet have so many pops on it? Oh, it's because that's my second planet. I know where things are. <laughs> and I don't remember what we were doing. Even though it was only, it was less than a day ago we were doing this. I don't remember yeah. what I was doing. Alright, so you're splur exploring. Here's a tip, YouTube audience. If, uh, if, you, if you're watching one of our series, and for some reason during an episode we just go, What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> that That's the break in a recording yeah. session. You found the break. <laughs> I've mentioned I've mentioned that a lot because I record in usually about six to eight episode bunches. So for like a solid week, every single video, I'd be like, last uh, you know, yesterday's episode, we did exactly this, and then there'll be that one episode where I'm like, on yesterday's episode, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what I was doing. I don't know. That's the break. Yep. All right, another habitable planet. Blocker wow. Ooh. Surface variable it's got su it's got superpower. Uh, Batharian stone. Space booty. Uh, <laughs> asteroid falling on a planet can be nerve wracking. Bagot Prime has been rather fortunate. No harm has befallen the the colony. But leader, we have no nerves. <laughs> do do we have happiness? Is that's not a thing we have to worry about. Everybody's happy, so. Nope. Minus five happiness, I don't have to care about. Wait, are you on Gestalt Consciousness? Yes. Okay. I was wondering, can you play robots without the Gestalt Consciousness? No, I don't think you can. I think you, you have can't. to have that. Oh, okay. I think, I think you have to do that. All right, so I can recent impact modifier for 60 months, giving plus four minerals, Systems or... Complete. Recent impact modifier fixing months. Luckily, the asteroid did no damage. Success. Issues the asteroid defense system. Uh, that sounds like a cool project. I'd like to project it. Ooh, 28 months. Do it. Oh, we're not very we're not very sciencey robots just yet. Yeah. Speaking there's of big, which, there's a big tech curve in this game. You uh. You start out slow, and then you have that lull kind of like in the mid-early game. Mm -hmm. But then you just, like, you explode in terms of how much science you're making. Oh, yeah. Same, same thing can happen with influence. You can balloon up to massive amounts of influence without too much trouble. Yeah, well, that's more based upon how many planets you have and how many influence buildings, like, uh, upgrades you have. Because, I mean... Mining station. You get a plus two influence for having the influence building, but then is it yeah. another plus two on top of that for every new building? Every upgrade, yeah. Like, I, I unlocked the next one, so I can do that right now. So two goes up to four. The, the network junction. This powerful transceiver increases the bandwidth of the signals being continuously set between the many different systems operating across our empire. Mm-hmm. Yes, keep so building more fat robots. I, I like to think it operates on the same principle as I remember early, early internet. Uh, to get faster internet, you used to be able to shotgun routers. So ah, you just well, I was, I was, I was too young to deal with that stuff when complete. when that was going on. I, I've, you could uh, you could get two routers together, and instead of uh, one router, so like fifty six k modem, uh, and that was your basically your limited speed. If you could get two connections hook up a hook up to i mean I'm, I'm i'm butchering how this would actually work but you took two routers and you hooked them up to the same connection on the end but two separate connections going uh, you know going out and 56k modem 
and you basically you just doubled your internet speed by having packets go from both of them. Oh, okay. See, uh, I I grew up in a house that was built in the 1840s, uh, so uh, the the lines could only technically support like 28k, and that was as long as the wind wasn't blowing. <laughs> So, like, practically, it was probably more about half that, probably, like, 12 or 14. So, even, even for dial-up, my internet was slow as a child. God, dial-up. I remember that. <laughs> I remember uh, AOL, pay by the minute. Yeah, I remember AOL as well. I, I remember we, we splurged and we got the year package. So, we got a year of AOL or, or something like that. And, Get that uh, disc in the mail every week. Yeah, we, uh... I used it. I remember AOL Messenger. Mm -hmm. that, that, that lasted a long time after AOL stopped being a thing, if I remember Oh, right. yeah, that that was still a... Th is, is it still a thing now? No, no, it got... It got canned. Well, I remember there was there was AIM, and there was, like, a, a chat room service that was, that was bundled yeah. with it. Yeah, and I think AIM... that got canned because, like, pedophiles were using it to, like, troll for victims. Yeah, it's something like that. But, yeah, AIM lasted a long time. Like, it was, it was 2010, I think, when AIM... System uh, survey complete. Something really? like that. Yeah, I don't know. It lasted a long time after... It lasted longer than you think. I actually thought it lasted longer than that. I thought it was I thought it was around for a little bit longer than that. I was going to say 2012. I don't know. I used to, I used to use AIM. That was, a, I, that was yeah. a good... That was a good... The actual good program. <laughs> I was say I had the. I bet when that closed down, I had the same, uh, same screen name as I did when I first installed it when I was in like sixth grade or something like that. Ben seven two nine. Pretty sure I touch as well. Which uh, was just an amalgam of where I my name, my last name, and where I lived. It was like Roach uh, Roach Lipuff. Or something like that for Litchfield. I want to make sure strangers know as much about me as possible in the shortest amount of time. Well, you know. I had my birthday on there, too. Unit lost. Engineering I just got that, too. Unit Q10 has ceased functioning due to miscalibrated exoskeleton applicator exerting 200, 2,984 times the necessary force to fasten a new dorsal plate. It stabbed him in the chest while he was getting retrofitted. Sector Governor Unit... Unit U4. It says that. Unit Unit U4. Uh, has unit, ceased unit. functioning due to a severe pattern buffer issue. So what is... He got a RAM what failure? That, <laughs> what are the odds that we both got that at exactly the same time? That has to be, like, programmed in. Yeah, you must... You must, like... Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the machines. Uh, probably... Probably just a... Like a logical a timer or success. something for your first death. Maybe ch chance to Anomalous chance to hit with in increasing over time or something like that. And we we both got lucky at the same time. Like it cycled Maybe. at the beginning of the year or something like that. Construction complete. Build research stations. Do it. All right. Um. I remember how I asked it if you watch RoboCop. I I, I rewatched it, and I got to say, it uh, it, it, like I watched that one as a kid, and mm -hmm. I I don't know why I was allowed to watch that as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of violent. It's not kind of violent. It is very violent. <laughs> Yeah, I remember watching, you know, you know, watching all those, you know, those action movies, um, that, Time Cop, and uh, Terminator. Oh my God, Time Cop! I just, it's been so long since we even thought of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Apparently, we have an asteroid defense system to keep this one planet safe. Couldn't, I don't know, expand it out to other planets. Copy it. Do something. Uh, 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 control C, Control V. Paradox is really good at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Burn. See, I okay. I just noticed something. There's a combination of resources in a tile that I've never seen before. It's minerals and science. I've only ever seen like science with a special or minerals with like a, like minerals and food, minerals and power. I've never seen minerals in a science uh, boom well, on a tile before. That's normally a thing when you find something, like an anomaly. Did you research an anomaly complete. on that planet beforehand? 
This is the one that got hit by the asteroid, so maybe it was that's where the asteroid hit. Yeah. Ancient survey marker plus four minerals. That that's on a different planet though. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, you're building. Build more fatties. I keep for I, it does keep slipping my mind that I have to manually build these pops, but I don't mind it. Yeah, neither do I. Let's you let's you work out your expansion easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Construction ship. Uh, I just splurged like four hundred uh, minerals on new pops and buildings. Oh yeah, I just did uh, just two new pops, complete. which that was two forty, and then I spent another two or three hundred on like mining stations because I had a whole bunch of. Uh, like I, I did the the mining stations, but not complete. the research stations in my territory, so I had a bunch of mm -hmm. research to work on. I don't want any of these. Uh, okay. Can I re-roll on the RNG tech table? I'd like a mulligan. Construction complete. I hope sometime in the future they, they, they change up the way. I don't think they will, because I don't really like the RNG tech system. I don't know. I like an RNG tech system when it's done right. Like, have you did you ever play uh, Sword of the Stars? Yeah, I did. I loved it. Th that had an RNG set tech system. It did. I thought that was a static one. No, it isn't. Have all every uh, line has a ch every technology has a chance of uh, of uh, existing for for you to research or not existing for you to research. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, it's weighted. So like certain like certain technologies, like I mean, you're always going to get your your propulsion technologies, your colonization technologies, and like your basic weapons. But everything else is random. In Sword of the Stars. I gotta go play that game again. That was a great game. Yeah. Although we we don't talk about Sword of the Stars too. No, we don't. We do not talk about that. Paradox. It's, it's still there. It's it's still on the the store page. Is it well? See, I remember. I I I was. I love Sword of the Stars so much. I had bought it. I paid money for that, not knowing at the time that you know, it was. Oh fuck you, game! Ten percent chance of failure, my ass. <laughs> uh, not realizing that it was you know, not done. <laughs> Trash. You mean? <laughs> yeah. It was. It was literally a pre-alpha. It was disjointed sections of the game that were like loosely connected that may or may not crash the game when trying to move from like a text screen to the world, you know, the universe map or something like that. Well, I remember they were patching it. They were patching it every two or three days, furiously trying to, you know, you know, fix it. But after a couple months, I was just like, nope, done with this shit. Well, was it wasn't okay. Like I remember the the timeline. It came out. And you couldn't play it. Like, you, you tried doing everything. It would crash. It would crash. It would, you know, crash mm -hmm. desktop, freeze, everything like that. Um, and they said, uh, like, the first their first release said, or their first, um, like, public announcement said, oh, well, we had to revert the game back to a previous version because uh, some of the stuff we added in there for the release uh, to go gold uh, caused it to crash a lot. And it was almost unplayable. Everyone was just like, well, that's what it is right now. I mean, how bad was it before? Then, then yeah. like, <laughs> then like three or four hours later, they're like, oh right, okay, we didn't. We just released the actual game to you. The copy we were supposed to release, we accidentally uploaded the bad copy. We're gonna put the new one out. When that came out, it still almost didn't work. <laughs> like, yeah. like, well, I'm just... sure what they were doing, like, just just fix as much shit as you possibly can before someone reads this entire paragraph. It was, it was they, such a they, shit show. Yeah, they but they fully well admitted after the fact that they just went, well, we ran out of money and it was either ditch the project or or cash in. <laughs> yes, I do. I actually do need to remove uh, mountain range tile blockers, but I I also need to remove glaciers. They're in my damn way. The damn kids. <laughs> Old Mad Magnus isn't happy with you, young whippersnappers. Oh God! Like sometimes when people talk on my Discord, I have to like ask for for like like uh, a a translation from. Okay, you're you're 16. All right, can you translate that into English, please? <laughs> Old 
May like May, so, so, someone used the term may may and I was like the fuck is may may mean like, <laughs> it's shorthand for meme it's not shorthand for meme it's tw it's more letters than the word meme it's not shorthand <laughs> translate an alien mural I was like the word me meme is is it's fucking four letters Uh, yeah, research that. <laughs> okay, so... I just, I just realized a problem with this Empire's placement. Hmm. They're blocking me from the star that, you know, lets you warp to the next arm complete. in the spiral. So you're blocked onto one spiral? Uh, I'm blocked onto the tail end of one spiral. <laughs> Well, you are the replicator, so... <laughs> what is this? Teldar Crystals, Kinetic Weapon Damage. Okay. Um... Let, let, let's do let's do it. Oh, I'm running out. I keep forgetting that, that more, more pops require more power. Yeah, I'm, I'm prioritizing making power plants. Best Bane cast depleted. Man, it's been a long time since I've played that. I think Bob's doing a series on the yeah, remastered one. Yeah, on the remastered one. Man, StarCraft was like my childhood, basically. I see, it wasn't really mine. I was more, I was a more of a historical strategy games. So like, you know, Age of Empires and uh, Rise of Nations and stuff. Age of Empires 2, I had Rise of Nations, didn't love it. System Ooh. survey complete. Has leveled up, core sector. Ooh. We translated some doodle. A leader's gained a level. Thank you. Uh, I want that. Yeah, I, there's like one of the... I, I, I thought I, I had the same issue with you where I was blocked off from uh, going to a different arm. And then I realized... Because there was, you know, like a, an angry space whale there or something like that. And then I realized that... Uh, you know, if I, if I move the map around a little, there's another lane to travel on. <laughs> God, and the music is still sounding too loud. <laughs> it's it's constantly changing. God damn it. Ugh. Oh, I want to get rid I want. I really need to get the, the removed mass of glaciers so that I can get some Batharian stone power plants ripping. I got Batharian stone somewhere on one of my planets. I got I have two of them on my planets, but I'm pretty sure they're both blocked by tile blockers I can't clear yet. Yeah, the the, the only reason I can't I'm not using Batharian stone right now is cuz uh it's on a colony world and I need to wait to get enough resources to uh, upgrade the colony administration. Uh, I could really use some more cyborgs construction complete. Can 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 I leave like some of your your naughty bits intact so you can breed? <laughs> that'd be that'd be helpful. Complete. Come on, do the do for for the collective. <laughs> Ascension perk available. <clears throat> I like that one. I like that one. Uh, that one's okay. That one's okay. Subject integration influence. Meh. I don't have access to any of these ones yet. Well, these two are easy choices. And I'm going to go with this one because I feel like it fits my technological ascendancy. It fits complete. my uh, my borginess. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm calling myself the Borg. I'm not really the Borg because only my subject race are cyborgs, but I'm kind of turning them all... I'm going to be turning people into cyborgs because I'm sure they, they, they would appreciate that. They don't like being biological... Uh, by them, you know, just biological beings alone. They, they, they definitely want to be cyborgs. Or at least that's what I hear. Mm, I found the, I found a guy world. Uh, does it have a funky name? Pristine Jewel. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely settle that. Yeah. I recommend it. As a, as a feather, a fellow synthetic organism, I recommend it. Who do those organic those organics get off telling where and where we can't go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, construction. You need to go here. 
doing the doing the power doodles first. Yeah, definitely good on minerals. Power is becoming an issue. System survey complete. Animal evaluation laboratory. Oh, that's probably like I think maybe that replaces the Xeno Zoo. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, unlocks map the stars and automatic exploration. Okay, let's do that. I don't know why I was doing that in my like World War II propaganda announcer voice. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ten percent chance of failure. <sighs> Every everybody everybody that knows me knows that ten percent chance means like seventy percent chance. I. It's you got I, it's, I, 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 I don't I don't see it. I, I I've played with you as a GM. <laughs> I, I know you have luck. Oh my Um Oh the the, the battle you guys fought when you were fight, fighting the, the giant complete. smoke monster that was just an illusion. He you know, he missed all of his attacks because it was an illusion. But I don't think I actually rolled one die that would have been high enough to hit you if he was real. Well, you were you were trying to hit the tanks. I, for a while, I was trying to hit you, and you were the squishiest one. Like True. there was that one. There was that one point where, even though the, the rules didn't support it, you were like stepping in and in and out of his influence, trying you know to be like uh, reaction attack, reaction attack, reaction attack, reaction attack. And just because I you know I I knew it didn't. That's not how it actually worked. I was just like, yeah, he swings at you four times and misses. But I was still rolling, and they were still all miss they still all would have missed, even if he was real. It was terrible. It was ter I roll I roll awfully most of the time. Uh, upgrade this that, building. Yeah. That beholder was is a was alive because of your luck, because of our wow. our good luck. It, it was alive because of uh, lack of forethought and your good luck. Which translated into his good luck. He got he used that shield with its its special ability more than than Midge did. Yep. <laughs> yeah, did. Successful. I believe it was twice, and up to then Midge had used it once. A uh, science ship. Go do your science doodle over here. I don't wait. Maybe I can get in there now. Let's see. More power is required. Maybe I should. All right. What about this planet? Is there a lot we of power need more here? More Vespine gas. Exactly. Vespine gas. You must construct additional pylons. That was like the, the soundtrack to my childhood. Ooh. Well, I don't have access to Batharian stone yet, so <laughs> it's there. I just can't use it. System survey complete. Ship hull points. Uh, okay. I love it when you uh, research, research like a new a new mineral, a new one of those strategic resources, and you look over your empire and you're like, ah, I got none of that. <laughs> <laughs> and nope. Remember, <laughs> remind me of like Civ Five, or like, oh, uh, reveals oil on the map. You go look across an entire continent. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not building tanks this game. <laughs> Oh yeah, so each pop has a maintenance of one 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 juice. One 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 D cell. <laughs> one D cell. It's I still think it's it, it's weird that you can export electricity like across the planet in Supreme Ruler Ultimate. <laughs> yeah, but I mean You could turn that on and off though. Yeah. I, I definitely found a, a a UI issue when I was playing. I played a little bit last night. I was like, I want to play North Korea just for poops and giggles. Oh, 1,500 units? Fifth? Well, I think it was 1,401 units. 1,500 units? Somewhere around there. And, yeah. And there's no way to easily sort through them. Mm-hmm. So if you, like, and a lot of the tank, like, a lot of tanks and, you know, a lot of that equipment is from, like, the 50s. In 2017, so I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, all right, this is taking up a huge portion of my budget. I could, I could get rid of a lot of this stuff, uh, reduce the mil, you know, reduce the military, increase social, uh, social spending, 
uh, work on some infrastructure, get literacy up, things like that. Situation and then I'm going through, I was like, the only way to get rid of units is to click on the scrap button, which asks you to confirm it. So you have to go through and individually click on every single unit, click scrap, then click confirm. To get through 1,400 units doing that would... That would take long. I would say that would take longer than reorganize the order of battle for the Soviet Union in Hearts of Iron Three Black Ice. <laughs> Which, if you guys don't know, what I'm talking about. That's a three-hour task. And so instead, I was just like, okay, just launch all your nukes at South Korea. Let's see what happens, and then China attacked me. What is this? Oh, it's an edict. Planetary processors. Powerful administration computer complete. that has been designed to manage and oversee the various function of a complex planetary settlement. I like the sound of that. Prison complex. Some kind of max security penal colony of the first league. <laughs> it said penal. <laughs> I'm not 30 or anything. System survey complete. <laughs> no, you're, you're you're five in your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this planet's bigger, so I might want to land here for another colony. So let's go ahead, because I can't use the Batherian stone yet. So let's colonize. <laughs> Well, these guys are all the same, right? Yep, so colonize. Bloop, we're going to have to overwrite that one. We're going to lose one mineral. Not the end of the world, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, which one? Did I do this one or that one? Oh, this one. Okay, yeah, that one. I know what I'm doing. Do, do you? Sometimes. I really thought North Korea might be a fun a fun playthrough until I found that issue and I was just like, nope, not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. Oh, I almost have a level five softened. Hmm. You can't soft it like I can. I don't even know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> I don't even know what soft it means. Did you like Civ Five? I don't. I don't know if I ever if we ever discussed that. Never played it with you. <clears throat> I never played it at all. At all. Okay. But uh, but we're at twenty eight minutes. So ah yes we are. So thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments or concerns or any of that fun stuff, you can find links to various social media like uh, discords and patreons and twitters and a link to roaches or my series if you want to catch the other perspective provided in the description below and we will see all of you next time see ya